And the actors union, SAG-AFTRA, return returns to the bargaining table with Hollywood executives. That's going to happen tomorrow. The strike hit 100 days over the weekend. This means that it's the longest strike of that union in its history. Talks between both sides fell apart earlier this month after studios claimed the union's demands are too high. They include better pay, protections against artificial intelligence, and a 75-cent annual charge for streaming subscribers. Joining us now is Sean McNulty. He's the creator and writer of the Wake Up newsletter for The Ankler. Uh, Sean, talk to us about what's been going on. Talks broke down last month over the union's demands for a tax on streaming service subscribers. Actors had framed this as a kind of profit-sharing paradigm. But studios apparently had a different take. Can you walk us through what all of this means? Sure. So SAG After is basically looking for a cut of the streaming revolution that's happened uh, since the last, last contract negotiations had happened. So at first, they came with a proposal to get a 2% share of streaming revenue um, for the major streamers, and then they revised that to this uh, fee for per subscriber uh, at the streamers. The studios uh, balked at that last time. That was about a week and a half ago, um, but this is a promising sign that the AMPTP, which represents the studios, uh, is coming back to the table tomorrow, you know, a week and a half after talks broke down, so presumably... They're going to try to work to find a, a happy medium here, but that was a line in the sand, uh, as Ted Sarandos, the head of, uh, of Netflix, said uh, for the AMPTP. So we shall see what that means. So SAG-AFTRA has said that it already made significant concessions in the negotiations, particularly in the area of AI. Can we expect them to back down on demands related to the streaming services? Uh, that's the hope, certainly. If, if uh, and no one knows what that those AI compromises are, we haven't seen the exact terms there. Uh, that's you know was kind of a rumor of the talk that came out. So yeah, the sticking point is this revenue thing. It's a real you know it's a it's a real change in how the the uh, the actors get revenue in the door here. It's not just a pay increase from you know three percent to five percent of an annual increase or something. This is a major major st uh, shift in how much they're participating in this streaming economy, and the studios have not been willing to. A quote unquote cave on this point. So if that's good to see where they're going to fall out. And the studios are highly motivated to find a solution here. So we shall see what they come up with. So this is interesting. Last week, the union issued guidelines for Halloween that told members not to wear, not to wear certain costumes, including costumes inspired by struck content. Uh, former SAG after President Melissa Gilbert slammed that move. What other reactions have you seen? Yeah, this hasn't gone over well, I think. Uh, there were some people posting, you know, can my kids, uh, you know, dress up in character and things like that. Um, you know, it's uh, the actors are not allowed to promote uh, on social media anywhere any uh, product from struck companies. So that has been the line here. So presumably if one were to dress up as Barbie and post something on Instagram that, you know, would be in theory promoting the Barbie movie, that would be in violation of their overall policy here. So... Uh, you know, mostly Gibber pointed out this is looking a little, uh, we look a little childish here. It's yeah, Halloween. Um, I was going to ask. <laughs> seems, seems childish and seems impossible it doesn't come to across implement. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't know that the public favor would be like, um, it's Halloween. Can we just chill out for a moment here about this? So uh, we'll see what happens. I think everybody's taking a grain of salt. Just for the record, animation is not being struck. So if you have an animated show, you can dress up as your favorite uh, character of Bluey or so forth. Uh, that is, is allowed under uh, under guidelines. So there are small caveats. Oh, to well, that, yeah. uh, that's quite the field. Sean McNulty, thank you. You're welcome.